I want to welcome now Professor from Rutgers, Richard Lutz. He is a deep sea oceanographer who made about 85 dives on the very famous Alvin, a U.S. Navy research submersible. Professor Lutz, thank you for being here with us. What can you tell us about the safety situation surrounding the Titan? Well, th thank you for having me. First and foremost, my prayers go out to all the yes. families of the, the occupants. The uh, safety is really the biggest concern with any of the subs that we go in. Uh, and the, the important part of that safety process is certification of the of the submarines. And it's a very rigorous process. It's a little unclear from what I've read so far whether the Titan was, was indeed certified, and if so, how rigorous was that certification? I mean, we also have to look at Professor Lutz, uh, you know, regulation here, I would imagine. Uh, this vessel wasn't even inspected. How is that possible, being this, that this was a U.S. company and the vessel wasn't inspected? Well, it's a U.S. company. It was not a U.S. government company. Uh, Alvin, which I've gone down in, is owned by the Navy. It's operated by Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution and a very rigorous certification process associated with that. Okay, Professor Lutz, we understand you were once stuck at the bottom of the ocean. What happened and how'd you get out? I, I was stuck in about a mile of, of, of water off the coast of, of Oregon. Um, the place into perspective that Alvin has made 5,000 dives and um, the uh, it, it basically only got stuck once. I had the unfortunate experience of being in that. Um, they had to go through a series of very strict safety measure, measures to get us back. and. Um, the, uh, the, it, was, it was never a doubt in their mind that we would, we would get back, but it was a long day, and thank God for a couple of five milligram Valiums in the battle. Wow, the I could only imagine, Professor. Thank you so much for joining us, and thank you for your expertise. We really appreciate it.